was saying, it's just stereotypes, yeah. you know, because, you know, like <laughs> but sure. aren't, we are all like that, actually. We all have our own bias, right? Of course, yeah. Being, so I, th I think my point is mm. that when you encounter those biases within yourself, maybe it's a good idea to examine them and try not to give in to just being prejudiced. Can you, though? Sure. Imagine if I found that you love black girls. For me, at that moment, I would have judged you. Yeah, I know. Because of the stereotype. Yeah, uh, but of that's not the case, but right? Hi, and welcome to The Feminist Family. Yes, welcome to the feminist family. It has um, Pamela, and this is Corey, and he's my partner. And, and we are the feminist family. And we are the feminist. And family. we are so happy to be here, mm -hmm. recording again for you. Thank you very much for those who have already tuned in, and uh, either on YouTube or Spotify. We see you. Those who are sharing. Those who are leaving comments, we love that because mm -hmm. that's what we want, right? We want to grow. Yeah. We want to grow and have a bigger family, the feminist family. So what's, what are we talking about today? What are we going to talk about today? <laughs> it is something that seems to interest people. Okay. And we never talked about that, actually. <laughs> it's... How did we meet? Okay. Mm -hmm. How did we meet? But stay with us to get the whole story because there's some tea here. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> first so, of all... Where do you want to start? <laughs> where, okay. Um, where were you in your uh, life, in your love life before we met? Right before we met. Right before we met, I had been... I think single for about six months, mm -hmm. and then uh, and me and my son were living in Regina in a, a kind of an apartment, but it was the top floor of a house. And my daughter was living with her mother in Weyburn, and coming to stay with us every second weekend, as one does with these kind of shared custody agreements. And uh, yeah, I guess I was trying to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. I had gone on a a couple of dates, but nothing panned out. So, yeah, that's Why? where I was. Why? Oh, who knows? These what were you looking for? Who were you looking for? Or uh, what were you looking for? In what spirit were you before we met? I was, I guess I, you could say I was like pretty, like, much like, okay, I need somebody who matches me, right? Like, I don't, I'm not worried about just being with someone. I've gone through a couple long-term relationships so I didn't need to have a partner just for the sake of having a partner. <laughs> I wanted somebody that matched me. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess the people, I, and I mean, I, who knows why things don't work out, right? Like yeah. sometimes people just stop messaging each other and you lose, you know, you're like, okay, well, that one wasn't the one. Then. Wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> what was like a... Um... Uh, what would you say that you were looking in your in a partner at that moment, or were you thinking about that? Did you have like well, a fixed idea I, of what you wanted? Not a fixed idea, but mm -hmm. there's certain things that a person has to be right. Like you can't be racist mm -hmm. and be a partner to me. You can't be uh, like sexist. You have to have feminist uh, influences. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like I I put in my dating profiles, I am a anti-racist, pro-feminist, pro-LGBTQ+, like, <laughs> this is where I am. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm an anarchist and I'm an atheist. Have you <laughs> dated before a black person before me? I, I don't remember. I don't think I dated. Like, I mean, I've met, met many uh, black well, people that, you know, black women that we hooked up or whatever. But my, not many, but some. Mm. But no, I never like was in a relationship with any uh, black women before. Was that uh, an option or? A... Well, it wasn't not an option. I mean, it wasn't like out there going, I got to date a black woman. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know there's guys that do that, but that mm-hmm. was not that was not me. Like I wasn't like specifically looking for. I was just open, mm-hmm. you know, open. But I had, like, say, like certain characteristics of ideology, beliefs, mm-hmm. that values that I uh, require of somebody to be a partner with. Do you want someone who um, had kids, didn't have kids? I was more or less neutral on the subject of kids. Like, I have my two kids. I've had a, a vasectomy, so I won't, I'm not planning on having any of my own kids anymore. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we would have cu- <laughs> They would be cute, our kids, if we were making some kids yeah, one day. Well. Yeah. I hope they would have your eyes. I think I'm going to keep dreaming about them. Okay. You yeah. keep dreaming about them? <laughs> yeah. Because um, unless we find some, like a family to share custody with them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a question that really I was worried too much about. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Yeah. Not really. No, no, we are not anymore into kids except in my dream sometime. But the kind of, it's more of a phantasm than a yeah. dream, you know, kind of thing that you can have in your mind and find it pretty cute, but not sure that you are ready to. Yeah. Yeah. Go through that. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Like, that's the thing. Like, when you're my age, because I was 42, 43 when we met, 42? Yeah, 42. So, I mean, you're, in order to date women your own age, mm-hmm. many of them are going to have children. So, it, to t- if you take that off the board, you're like, well, then I'm committing myself to being single. or like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> And children can be fulfilling like it's there's nothing wrong with meeting someone with children Mm -hmm. so so you were looking for a not a person who would have been like a pretty young no 20 no it would have to be somebody closer to my own age like i'm not Mm -hmm. i don't i don't really understand these guys that they date somebody who's like 25 years younger than them I mean, maybe when you it's when love. you get older than I am, then mm. then it make, But what would I talk about with them? Like, I don't, I I think there wouldn't be as much common ground, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Maybe mm. I'm, maybe I'm wrong on that. <laughs> I don't really get it though. So. I mean, um, it's okay to have preferences. I think. I oh wait. sure, sure. You know, you but need I to think... go away for what. You know, but I much. think that in my head, I was always like, okay, so I, if I'm going to date somebody, they got to be at least over 30, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to be dating. I mean, not no insult to young people, but your brains haven't finished developing until you hit 25. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be that an insult. Some of some young people are still way smarter than I am. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. But, <laughs> and make way better decisions than I ever did. Mm-hmm. But yeah. For many people, it would not be a good fit. Mm-hmm. How about you? Where were uh, you um, in your uh, love life? <laughs> <laughs> I was on maternity leave. Mm-hmm. I uh, had um, Momo, um, like after I got separated with her dad. So I was on my maternity leave with um, two young kids, having them every day. Um I didn't have really much time for dating. Yeah. Um, but I was feeling like ready because it's a moment where I was, you know, um, working a lot on myself, trying to, you know, to learn myself and learn to, you know, take the time to really ask myself what I wanted because it was um, my second relationship was has just failed. Mm. And I was like, no, I don't want to go in that all the time. And, right. um, and I knew, I knew just one thing that I came up to understand at that moment. It's that, um, didn't want to be having, you know, multiple uh, partners and, uh, you know, living, um, just alone, you know, we're human. I, I love to have like a company of a man and uh, 
But I was like, I didn't want something that, you know, uh, to meet this person and then a week after meet someone. I didn't want to go through many, you know, mm. dates to find someone. <laughs> I, if it's going to match, I didn't have that time either, right? Yeah, so um, it was like a, when she was going to be almost a year. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. I was feeling ready to meet someone, but I had like a fixed <laughs> criteria. <laughs> yes, I um I knew exactly the kind of person I wanted. I thought that it would be um easy for me because again, I didn't want to go through uh dates after dates after dates only to find that the person was like a no, it was like a um when you're hiring for work, like professional, yeah. okay. <laughs> First of all, before going far further, there are some characteristics that absolutely need to be there. Yeah. Um. So I was like, I want someone who is aware that I've already, you know, um, I'm already divorced and uh, on my second relationship. Right. So, um, with that first criteria, I was like probably it won't be any person from my country of right. origin. Yeah, you, you've mentioned that before. Yeah, I was like, um, I don't see any Burundian um, who will be okay to be with me and, um, you know, and be against his family because, um, you know. <laughs> Cause the, yeah, because of the cultural Bur uh, norms about, around marriage and whatnot, eh? Yes, culturally, like uh, you you don't just marry or, you know, be just with a, a person, it's a whole family. And I was like, mm -mm, I don't want that. <laughs> like, like a person could have said whatever they wanted. I was like, mm, no, <laughs> preferably not someone. Um, so it it. It had to be someone out of Burundi, out of Rwanda, out even out of Africa. I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> really, my um, big fear at that moment was family, in-laws. Mm. I was like, mm. <laughs> I know a man can love me, but his Sometimes, family, yeah. I'm not sure that they're going to be loving me. So that was the first thing. And um, the second thing was, I guess the same criteria as you. I was like, it's going to need to be someone who is already feminist. Yeah. Um, it was like, I'm going to need to know before we say hi, before, you know, <laughs> before even going to the first date, before like. Right. No. Um, men are trash. If men are not trash, then. <laughs> Chances are <laughs> yeah, we will never be on the same page. Yeah. Um, so, of course, as I was thinking about going out of my um, my culture, I was like, OK, it's going to need to be someone who's anti-racist, mm -hmm. you know, anti-racism and, um, you know, who is enough open to different uh, cultures. Right. 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 Um, you can be very nice, pretty nice, but if you are just, you know, nationalist, whatever nation it is, even, uh, you know, yeah. um, whatever thing that you are that is just close to one culture, I was like, mm, that's not going to work. You need to be able to open, you know, yep. to be open for me. Being open for me is, you know, because I don't consider myself to be just Burundian. I'm also Belgian, but I'm not just Belgian. Right. Soon I will be Canadian, but I will never be just Canadian. You right. know, I, I consider myself as a, you know, I can be 10 more nationalities and uh, I can, you know, I'm just citizen of the world, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love this in small things in different cultures, but maybe not any culture a hundred percent so yeah. i'm not uh in one culture yeah. so i was like yeah it's gonna be that and it had to be someone who you know who is active who's who walk out mm. preferably mm -hmm. because i was um really in um you know i was trying to walk on myself at that moment i was still very struggling like um right. i was like no 
I'm already struggling myself if I'm going to be with someone who not even, even in that, you know, it's going to be hard. Maybe that person won't understand me. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I have, I had young kids. So I was like, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Kids friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, someone who, you know, I would be feel, you know, enough sp- uh, safe to, that he he be with my kids because yeah, sure. I was a parent full time alone, a single mother. So, yeah, dating me meant meant at that moment dating me and the kids, right, with a baby. So, yeah. so yeah, I was uh I was there. I wanted someone who <laughs> would be that and even more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully, but that was really the basic. Yeah. 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 What else? And I could not meet that person. No. No. It's pretty tough. No, because I'm, uh, first of all, I was, it was at that moment where I, I was staying a lot home mm-hmm. or whatever I was going, it was just with young kids, you know, with a baby and a toddler. Like, where do you meet people, right? Well, yeah. Um, you can't go out, right? Where do you meet people who are out of your culture? <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, online because <laughs> okay we live in Canada which is a country of you know it, there is the multiculturalism that's yep. what they say you know they are all cultures like you can find someone a match of that person yeah. you know uh, here in Canada but they are just in Canada that doesn't mean that you're gonna see them yeah. that you're gonna meet them you know everyone is just in his own for sure culture kind yeah. of so it's like you say like there's the Burundian community of the yes, city. Exactly. So at that moment, I was in Canada, I was in Regina, but basically I was just with Burundian people yeah. or Francophones. Right. And in the Francophones, like um, there are Burundian who are many and some other Africans. Some others and, uh, you know, yeah. French Canadian, yeah. you know, um, but it's, it's not, it's not that easy to to date someone like to meet new people like you already know everyone like <laughs> <laughs> there were no new people coming right. uh in that cycle you know uh that i would have been able to you know to date at that moment yeah. with my criteria like so right. so i knew that and uh i had a friend okay. who i told uh, i told her about that and uh, she was like then you have no choice yeah you're going to have to go online. I never did that before. No? No. I never did that. I guess not, right? Like, No, because I, I I got here in Canada with, uh, you know, I was already in a relationship. relationship. Yeah. I went in Belgium. I was with my first husband. So I never had, I, I really never in my life was in a phase where I was looking for someone right. to be with. Yeah. It was the first time and it was feeling weird. I bet. <laughs> it was <laughs> I really bet. feeling yeah. weird. Yeah, I was I like, mean, where do I start? Especially because uh, a lot of like online dating mm. can be quite toxic for women. Like it can be a real shit show. <laughs> I went on YouTube. I went on YouTube first. Okay. Yeah. How to go oh, on nice. a dating okay. side. What do I put? Like how do I describe myself? Because, uh, you know. <laughs> it's 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 like when you never when you've yeah. never done that you like yeah. uh, you go there and you like uh, what kind of picture of myself do I put there because it's not like you have that much space right and I had that in my mind I was like uh, you know uh, I don't want to attract a hundred of people either right mm-hmm. and so I I found that video on YouTube that was like uh, okay. Present yourself the same way you want that person to see you, you know, co- so that that person going to recognize that it's you. So I had to go and choose what kind of pictures to, to put there. Right. They weren't nice. <laughs> they were fine. What do you- I mean, uh, they weren't like um, pictures put there like to impress anyone. Right. Or to, no, I think right. that I, I, I got... Um, I got like a passport uh, picture and that wasn't, it wasn't at all like uh, to, yeah. to impress anyone. 
I think um, I think that often that's like because I made that mistake the because the first time I was on online dating mm-hmm. that's the mistake I made was I put pictures I thought would attract somebody. Mm-hmm. But then you're just attracting them f- physically, right? Like yeah, not, exactly. They're not actually like even maybe they won't even read your profile. Mm-hmm. I, I put a picture of uh, just when I, I, I just had uh, Mumu. So she was on the picture and they were Mumu really at the hospital. Not even like a, the kind of like a, yeah. you know, yeah. I was like the person who I, I, I want to meet was a person who would be okay that I'm on maternity leave. Mm -hmm. I'm not... um, So this picture sends a message. You know, I'm just in babies. You know, I'm not the cleanest person that you're going to... You know, I'm still (laughs) breastfeeding or not. You know, I'm just a mom home and don't bother me. You're not going to find me like with makeup or, you know, don't come to me thinking that I'm a person who's... Done up all the time. Already. No, yeah. I wasn't ready at all. <laughs> so I think that's what I put. And um, I, wa- I first went on a, uh, on just one up. Mm. It wasn't really concluding, you know, where you had to swipe. I think they all do that swipe left, swipe left. Yeah, I think left, they- right. I think Tinder sort of started. Yeah, it was it. that one. It was Tinder. Yeah, yeah. Tinder <laughs> sort of started it, but yeah. then I think they all kind of developed it because it was so yeah. popular. Mm. So I went on Tinder, and um, yeah, they were guys, mm. you know. But you know, they were just guys, you know. Um, yeah. Maybe <laughs> I was like, where do I start? Because yeah. you know, I see so many profiles, and uh, okay, you walk out, but. You know, nothing is telling me that you are anti-racist because I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how to start that. Right. Right. Absolutely. You know, in the first, because I didn't want to, you know, I'm not the kind of person who's texting all the time and uh, who who are going to be doing many back and forth, back and forth messages. Right. I was like, I'm going to get bored. Like I, I got bored, like after the third or fourth person, you know, with the basic questions. Yeah, I think I changed. Yeah. And that's where I went on um, Facebook yeah. date. Facebook date. Yeah, I saw that there were Facebook date. And yeah. <laughs> were you having more success? Oh, no. I, well, I mean, I wasn't having much more success. Yeah. I was on all the apps. I mean, I this is my third time go around. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, so after my uh, first marriage, I separated from her. I tried plenty of fish. I tried... E harmony, yeah. but I, I didn't want to pay for any of these fucking things, mm-hmm. so, <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, I'll do the free version of whatever app, right? So I think there was one called Zeusk, which is a weird one. I think I, I think Never I chatted with a couple that. people on that, yeah. but yeah. So then I, I tried all the apps, and then again, I, I met somebody through friends. That was Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> friends in the, is an app no friends oh okay like yeah. actual human being actual human being okay 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so so I didn't even the, the apps weren't the solution mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. but then uh, after me and Stephanie set, split up I was like okay well I'll try again mm-hmm. so then this is my next time around and I'm like you know I'm on all the apps and I'm you know you change your pictures you have one or two dates, you have a couple messages with people. Sometimes you hit it off. Sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, I mean, oh, first I looked at it and I, oh, this Facebook date, that's new. Okay. (laughs) I'll try that. And so then I threw them up, uh, probably just whatever pictures, like, cause I stopped trying to to impress people Mm -hmm. and started being like, Okay, well, this is who I am. I live. This is the pictures. Yeah. yeah, this is the pictures I put on my Facebook mm-hmm. that my friends and my, you know, my colleagues and all the people I know see. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's the best thing to do when you go on a um, dates uh, yeah. app. It's like you need to show yourself for real. If you need to go and work on uh, your pictures, or uh, if you need to be more, you know. Yeah, you ready sh- than you are normally. Like you need to be who you are. Like I think, like I used to think that like being on what, these dating websites was like trying to sell a car. 
Like you're trying yeah. to make it look as good as possible. Mm-hmm. You kind of downplay the negative things. Mm-hmm. You kind of lift up the the positive things, and you kind of you you know you you lower the sticker price, and then you raise it up when yeah, <laughs> and then the fees yeah. show up when the, as the the purchase comes in. Mm-hmm. But no, it's like so. I kind of took a different approach mm-hmm. when it came to the, the Facebook date, and I was just like, okay, well, I'm a very political person. I talk about politics all the time. It's all I do. <laughs> so, so be prepared for that. I've got a couple of kids. I'm 40 something. I, mm-hmm. you know, I'm anti-racist, pro-feminist, pro-LGBTQ. And I was like, okay, yep. If, <laughs> if anybody's interested in that, then great. And if me? they're not, then they're not the right fit for me anyway. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw you fr- and I wrote to you first. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you said that you would like to meet a man who was anti-racist and profound. I was like, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? I want to know because like, um, I don't know if we're going to be dating or not, but at least you're going to be friends. Right. Yeah. At least we could meet each other. And Yeah. I was like, like uh, OK, I don't know if it's going to, you know, walk between us but yeah of course i want uh, to have a friend here in saskatchewan who is a uh, anti-racist who is feminist who is you know yeah who talks about politics like <laughs> yeah. i was like you know at least you're gonna be friends that's right. and we're not just gonna be people who know each other i knew i was like at least you're gonna be friends. right yeah yeah so then i guess we chatted a little bit yeah i came to you and was like explain to me I want to know <laughs> where are you from? How? What is that? like? Uh, from what planet are you coming? Because, <laughs> because uh, you in my mind, I was like, you my guy. <laughs> I think I told you that in, in the very uh, early, yeah, early you know, on, <laughs> after a few messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I come from Saskatchewan. I grew up. Yeah, here. no, I was like, no, what planet? Because I never. Yeah. That was the first time I met someone who was like uh, in the introduction, you know. Well, that, first of all, saying that you, you know, pro-feminist. Like I was like, <laughs> we are in an era where it's not very well seen to be feminist. And, yeah. You know, even women are not, you know, yeah. admitting that. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> well, yeah, because I I'd essentially like I had a set of things these are my values right Mm -hmm. and over the course of the time that from when i first was separated from my first wife and up until all the way through my relationship with stephanie and then i was still always learning more and more about feminism and 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 uh well and 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 racism and anti-racism and all that stuff Mm -hmm. like i was spending Mm -hmm. my a significant amount of my time reading books listening to audiobooks learning about these things yeah I think that the first question that I was asking myself when I saw your description and when we started to talk was like, oh, I hope because if he's saying that he's anti-racist, like, is it am I, is it going to be someone who is like into black people? Right. You know, yeah, uh, is it a fetishization? Thing? Yeah, exactly. I was yeah. like, you know, I don't want to be the trophy either. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is a fair concern. Mm-hmm. And that I I think I asked, I asked you about yeah, that. Yeah, at one point you did. Before even we went to. Yeah. I, uh, I remember because my first thought was, is this a bot? <laughs> 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 so, because so, sometimes these these apps or whatever, you'll get messages that seem like they're coming from a real person. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, they'll it'll take keywords out of your profile. And mm-hmm. it'll be like, oh, yeah, I'd love to meet a man like you that has these things. And you go. Hmm. <sighs> She seems all right, but are you from Regina or are you from Saskatchewan? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I live in Saskatchewan. I live in Regina. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, because sometimes these things get mixed up and you get messages from people who aren't people or aren't from the, the place. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then we chatted some more and you asked me, yeah, like, do you are have you dated black women before? And I was like, well, I haven't dated black women before, mm-hmm. but I've uh, I've hooked up with some. And I, it's not like I, you know, I wasn't out there searching for 
black. Oh, yeah, the I was, black. I'm not going on my checklist, right? Yeah. Going through a check, like mm-hmm. how, like, I think that was a thing in the early 2000s. It was really a thing. Like people would say, well, I, I've, I've had, I've had sex with a Chinese woman. I've had sex with an Asian woman. I've had sex. I mean, with- it's a, it's, it's a fantasy. Like, uh, I did just didn't want to want that. I know that there, yeah. I've met some, um, some men who, um, w- would ask me, and especially when I was living in, um, in Europe, mm. less in Canada because Canadians are not like that. They don't talk like that. But really in Belgium, <laughs> like uh, I met many men asking me like, uh, oh, really, um, don't you have a sister or don't you have a cousin? <laughs> like uh, I really want to have like a, a black partner, a black wife. And, you know, when so, a person is saying that, it looks like they maybe sometimes idea, they think that right? it's a compliment, <laughs> but it's not something that was like a... It's feti- yeah, it's fetishization, but yeah. also they must have an idea of what that person is going to be like based on their skin color, right? They're like, if I have it's a partner, the who's black, yeah, right? I'm gonna, I'm, they're going to be this, and they're going to be that, and they're and it's probably all based on, like, say, stereotypes or like stereotypes. preconceptions yeah. that are based on some racial bias mm-hmm. that they may not be recognizing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, I don't know, seem I know that. Preferences are a thing, right? Like some it's people a thing, have you know. But yeah. that doesn't make it not racist, right? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if it's racist or not because, you know, also me, I was like, I don't want any Burundian and maybe I don't want any African, you know. And by, the, by that, of course, you know, it was more black people, but maybe if it was like a black Canadian or, you know, it would, yeah, it wouldn't be yeah, a problem, right? Black like it's American, not, yeah. It w- for me, it was just culture. It's not only the color, but you know, it's a, it's a fetish. Like it, you yeah. know, um, some which, people are gonna be weird. like, a, you know. I mean, some I guess some fetishes are fine or what have you, but if it if it contributes to the marginalization of a group of people, or if it's based on. You know, people love what they like. You know, yeah. they, they they like what they like. I just didn't want to be that person. You know, yeah, yeah. I was like, I you know, I know, I didn't like, want to be. You know, oh, finally you got your black, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Or uh, what they say: once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> you got your black, so now you think that you know. That's it. You don't have any more that black, so you're gonna get me. I was like. Yeah, that's 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 pretty weird. Like, yeah, but people but that know what they want, right? Yeah, that yeah. that's true. Like, I just, I, I find that I don't, I don't mean this from a judgmental place. That mm. people who have these preferences based on racial characteristics, mm-hmm. they may not be examining all of their prejudices and biases. It is full of it. So it is full of it. That's probably not a positive <laughs> yeah. trait to continue having you know it's not something i would personally want to continue having is like this kind of bias in this way that's like based on all these assumptions about people that i don't even know if they're true like i know i've heard uh i've I've met uh many girls like black girls who are gonna be like no i want a white person yeah because they imagine that black people but that white people this is how they are you know it's it's a lot of stereotype but you know and there's a lot there i know uh, i mean i know there's a lot of toxicity that goes with some of these various prejudices and and preferences Mm -hmm. because there are groups who are flat out like there's something wrong with that group of men or that group of women and I can't be with them. And like, But isn't that what it is finally, you know? Yeah, essentially, right? You know? Yeah. But it, I think it's... Isn't that normal? I don't know. It we seemed, don't do that? We, so, all, we all don't do that, really? I, sh- I think you should probably base it on because the that's the right? same Rather that's the, the same principle where I was like, I don't want to be with a Burundian person. Yeah. Because yeah, I would just, assume... You know, it, it's be- Which, yeah, it's based on true. you know that's in true. what have you been through because you know. Um, yeah, that's true. Like you may you may have been judging the group based on a smaller sample. It's not, not like I met all Burundian be, people, yeah, right? There might or, be examples or families of, or yeah, uh, you know. People no really offense to anyone, but yeah. that's that's maybe my yeah. stereotypes. You know, that's yeah. how I was seeing them. I was imagining, you know, maybe they're gonna tell me, you know, um, when you are, 
you've been already with two men and uh, you got your first marriage. It didn't work. You got into your second relationship. Now you have two kids and you're not anymore with the um, with the father of the kids. Like how many people are going to be uh, OK with you? Maybe you're going to find there are men who are going to accept you, but doesn't it, it comes with yeah. issues with the family yeah, in law. Like, like, like you, you say like uh, Burundi and would have come with some of that baggage mm. but maybe there's like there's certainly uh variations of white that would be of that course too, right? like there's lots of white that's why i was saying like, it's just stereotypes yeah. you know because you know <laughs> like but sure aren't we are all like that actually we all have our own bias right of course yeah Being, so i th- I think my point is mm. that when you encounter those biases within yourself, maybe it's a good idea to examine them and try not to give in to just being prejudiced. Can you, though? Sure. Imagine if I found that you love black girls. For me, at that moment, I would have judged you. Yeah, I know. Because of the stereotype. Yeah, but of that's not the case, but, right? You could have just be thinking the same as me i don't want to be with you know uh, with a, just another canadian another person canadian who's white girl born who's in <laughs> wayburn but you know grew up in saskatchewan well, i want someone who's I, coming from another and culture in a sense, and, you i know, did have some of that like yeah. i didn't want to date anybody from wayburn so you see we all have bias okay we all need to we, we all need to be in peace with our, our own bias <laughs> you know on some level it's, yes i just we all have yeah, that there's there's got to be a balance to it, right? Yeah. You got to have a nuance to it. Yeah. As long as it's, you know, it's not done in a, in a way to go to hurt other people. Right. I think that, you know, yeah. it, we all have that and, you know, you can try to reduce them as much as you want. Well, but ultimately, you know, like you say, like who you date doesn't actually hurt anyone except no, you yeah. if you pick the wrong person. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, um you know, I would have misjudged you if you would, if I was like, OK, no. So I'm the third black person that you went with <laughs> in the last two years. Mm-mm, that means that you are targeting black women, mm. uh, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. But but why that. not? You know, you, it's just it's, it's yeah. just a, it might not even be a targeting of black women. It may be. That just happens to be the way it happens, right? Up, right? Like, <laughs> right, but okay, I'm okay. That, that's how I was thinking, you know. Okay. That, <laughs> I was like, that was a concern, and that's why we had to talk about that even yeah. before we, yeah. you know, we go far. And, well, and and you know, there is a real danger of uh, like fetishization, like you say, mm. like, and that's that's not a good relationship to go into. Yeah. So. My uh, big fear is um, when we're talking about that is, you know, you're going to have some expectation. So, Mm. you know, that means that instead of seeing me, you're going to see me comparing me to the two other black girls that you were with before. And maybe what are you going to be looking in me that is coming from the, you know, Mm -hmm. I was like, how would I know? How would I know? Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, it's it's it was just a thing. I was in that at that moment, and when we met, it was you know a thing that we we had to make it clear because you know uh, anti racist. Yep. Talking to a black person online, I was like, yeah, just oh. let me know that you. I don't. A... I don't want to pretend that that's always not problematic too. Like yeah. White liberals love to look at not racist. Like they love to make a big show of how not racist they are. You know, I <laughs> I didn't want to be with someone who's gonna be having me as a, as the excuse, you know? Yeah, that's right. I can't be racist. I have I a have black a black <laughs> girlfriend. I was like, I don't wanna be that girl. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah. That was, uh, that's how we met. Um, yeah. I guess 42 minutes. We still got time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go to um, how we met and, you know, what, what were, you know, our first conversations. But all I know is that the moment I saw you mm. to the restaurant, 
when I was entering there. I think that I have already, at that moment, I have already told you that you are the guy I'm looking for. <laughs> Well, maybe, but not no, because yeah, I I have already told you that I think I don't know before we met. No, we can we can go into the conversation. <laughs> so we still have the conversation, but I know that I told you that pretty early, and but not in a way that like so when you're messaging in text form, uh-huh. like somebody can say like you're my guy, and yeah. they don't mean you're my guy. They might mean that's a great point. Good point. I agree with you. Yes, (laughs) yes. At that moment, when the first time I told you that, I was like, okay, you passed the first, like, (laughs) you know, first stage of selection. Yeah. Because we had to meet, though. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, um, you know, it's online and... uh, You can't get a full feel for a person. Yes. Unless you actually, like, look them in the eyes. Yes, yes. So we had to meet. Yep. And... I think that's the first time I saw you. I was like, I want to be with him all my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I told myself. I, yeah, I yeah. loved you. I, I was I was quite smitten when we uh, when we met as well. And uh, like, yeah, I, obviously, you're incredibly beautiful. I love you very much. <laughs> so, uh, and then we we were talking, and we you uh, your first at question was. So why are you an anarchist? Yes, I had to grow on that with you. I had to grow on that and with I, you. I tried to explain as best as I could. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and it was a good conversation. Yeah. We went good. for the dinner. What did we eat? I don't even remember. I think it was, it was pizza. It didn't matter really. Honestly, like I remember about the way we were sitting. I don't remember that much what we were eating because I was very stressed. Mm-hmm. I think I was stressed. Yeah, because I loved you already. <laughs> I had to hide it because I'm proud. You know, yeah. I, I'm a proud girl. You know, <laughs> I wasn't going to jump on you and start to kiss you and hug you. I yeah. was like, mm. <laughs> I had to look normal. For <laughs> So well, and then we we left the restaurant and we each got in our own cars like we had, had a hug and yeah we, the, we each went in separate ways and before I even could get home I texted you that I needed to see you again mm-hmm. and I was dancing in the car <laughs> why even pretend why even pretend I was dancing in the car I was uh no I knew at that moment yeah, yeah and I never top to love you like it's still growing i love you so much i love you so much yeah i guess this is how we met online <laughs> on facebook date of on all facebook <laughs> date so this is your sign if you are just single and wondering where to start it's a thing we did it we met online and it's possible and i don't even see any other way to uh, to meet someone no, Nowadays. not somebody that, like, if, yeah, it's, <clears throat> how do you meet someone that is outside of your whatever group that is, like, also matches you as a person? I guess. Like, I mean, there used to be all kinds of different ty- dating services. Depending and, on people, like, uh, maybe they meet at church. Well, yeah. You, or, but uh, I never, I don't go to church. Yeah, exactly. Me either. <laughs> So, so so that was never an option. It's pretty hard. <laughs> so we met online and yeah. we never talked about it. So There you go. There you go. So this is it. This is how we met. Yep. And we're going to stop here. Okay. We should tell them if they want. They're going to put in the comment. Okay. If they want. If you want, we can tell you our first very long month together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was yeah. pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be for next time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. All right. So I guess if that's something, if this is the content uh, people like, then uh, keep stay tuned. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty weird. <laughs> that's a, the that's a first exercise because like, um, it's the first time we're talking about you know, this private thing. I, I don't even think, I think that even my dad doesn't know this. So, yeah, Papa? in general, in general, I don't think we talked about it. People would ask and we would 
hum and haw and dodge around it because it's not, I guess, the usual way people meet, right? So... Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for subscribing on the Feminist Family. And see you next time. Thank you.